am with the president and CEO of the Recording Academy, Neil Portnow. How are you this evening? I'm terrific. How are you, Drew? I'm doing very well. Excellent. Now, tell us what a night like this means for Music Cares. Well, as you know, Music Cares is our foundation whose mission is to help music people in their times of need. And tonight's about raising millions of dollars to help thousands of people. Uh, this is a spectacular evening, it always is, uh, but when you honor someone like Barbara Streisand, uh, it's pretty unique and, and pretty wonderful. I mean, every year, Music Cares honors somebody iconic and legendary. That said, on the level of Barbara Streisand, I mean, this is like in another world. Well, she's the true Renaissance artist and woman. You think about her talent and all of the broad-based work that she's done, whether acting, singing, writing, directing, producing, recording, you name it. And it's pretty hard-pressed to think of too many people that have uh, that kind of a career and those kind of skills. Uh, but when you add to that, the fact that she's a true philanthropist and humanitarian. When we look to talk about a person of the year, it would be hard to find anybody to be more fitting than Barbara Streisand. I completely agree. And some of the amazing people performing tonight, I mean, have you, uh, have you gotten to uh, hear any of the rehearsals of what's happening tonight? A little bit. We have so much going on this week that there are rehearsals everywhere all around town, but I had a little bit this afternoon. It sounds extraordinary. But again, when you're honoring someone like Barbara, and you put the word out that you're doing an event like this, and you're the Academy, and your music cares, uh, a lot of hands go up, a lot of people wanted to participate, so the toughest thing was uh, telling the people that we couldn't fit into the show as opposed to the ones we could. Now, Sunday sounds out of this world. I mean, every year the Grammys does such a great job where I'm like, oh, they can't top this, they'll never top this, they'll never top this, but this year, my goodness, well, that's my job, and that's my theory, which is every year we do a great show, and my job and my goal is to raise that bar. Um, I actually looked through the rundown from last year's show uh, just for the heck of it, and I can honestly say that as great as I believe our show was last year, I have no doubt that this year raises the bar. Seriously, last year I was looking at it and I was like, oh, no, can't top this, we can't top this. And then I hear the people that are going to be on the show this year, and I'm like, how do they do that? I mean, I just, I can't understand. I mean, Bob Dylan, Barbara Streisand is performing on the show. The last time she performed on the show was like 30 years ago, wasn't it? Exactly, and she doesn't do much live television to begin with, so it's a really rare event. And then Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre hasn't been on, uh, and performed in like 10 years live, right? That's exactly right. I mean, that's amazing. And not to mention Mr. Jagger. Oh, and a little who's person. Never, who's never performed on our stage, so this is history for us. Oh, this is history, and I mean, to honor Solomon Burke in that way. And then, um, I can't even remember the last time we had every Album of the Year nominee performing and every Best New Artist performing. I mean, I think it's the first time we've ever done that. Well, it's something that we're always looking to do, uh, because when you can do that, it, it's really interesting for an audience to see the entire a uh, group of nominated artists, and it just fell into place very nicely this year for us to do that. Oh yeah, it's, it's a great representation. We have uh, so many great pairings this year, and uh, there's so many iconic, legendary performers, and some of these great new artists that people are going to see for the very first time. It's, it's a very wonderful spectrum that we've got. I call it the tried and true and the new. It's exactly what we have. Exactly what it is. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Have a wonderful time tonight, and we look forward to Sunday. Indeed. We're looking forward very much to Sunday and the rest of the week until we get there. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.